looking for vintage British rolling stock for your Minecraft train, I've got several designs. Today, I've got an open first class vestibule carriage. Let's get started. To make your open first class vestibule carriage, you will need the following. For the undercarriage, 26 grey or brown terracotta, four pistons, four levers, 32 nether brick stairs, 16 hoppers, 20 dark oak slabs, 8 dark oak fence, 3 grindstones, 3 spruce slabs, 66 dark oak planks, 44 dark oak stairs. For the roof you will need 44 smooth sandstone stairs and 132 smooth sandstone slabs. For the body of the carriage, 46 spruce trap doors, 76 dark oak trap doors, 96 birch trap doors, 8 birch doors, 2 dark oak doors, for the internal fixtures and fittings, 40 dark prismarine stairs, 20 end rods, 20 brown carpet, 2 smooth quartz stairs, 2 stone pressure plates, 2 hoppers, 2 trip wire hooks and 2 lanterns, and of course, waste blocks of your choice. Let's get building. Beginning with your waste block, place it on your track. If you are joining this onto other carriages, make sure that there is a 2 block gap between the extension of the previous buffer and where you place your waste block. Now on top of the waste block place a grey or brown terracotta, remove the waste block. Two more so that they straddle the rails and then behind that coming from the middle terracotta block 20 terracotta. 1, 2, 3, 4, 18, 19, 20 and then at the end 1, 2, 3. Let's make the buffers next pistons facing sideways either end of the terracotta bar and next to them levers. Now you can place them like that or if you'd prefer you can place them underneath. Just make sure whichever way you do it it's consistent and then you just flip them open to extend the buffers. I prefer mine that way. Make two more buffers at the other end of your carriage. And now between the levers, a grindstone for a coupling. One at the front, two at the back, and you'll have to shift click to place the second. Let's put in our wheels. Start at either end, because it's exactly the same regardless. Leave a one block gap between your buffer and where the wheel starts. So right way up, nether brick stair, underneath it an upside down one, and behind it, two more, and there's our wheel. Just pretend it's a circle. Leave a one block gap, make another wheel. Come down to the other end and repeat the process. Now on each wheel into the right way upstairs, you're gonna place a hopper so that the funnels go into the stairs. And now between the wheels and your buffer, two dark oak stairs a top half dark oak slab between the two wheels and then eight top half dark oak slabs between the two sets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to do this on the other side. We're almost done with the undercarriage. We're going to come to the top starting at either end. One, two, three dark oak planks in between the two buffers and now run that right the way down to the other end. That done, take your dark oak stairs and run them upside down right the way along both sides. One last thing, spruce slabs, place one top half in the middle at the front and two top half in the middle at the back and that's our undercarriage done. Now let's make the ends, doesn't matter which one we start with, they're both the same. Either side of your spruce slabs place dark oak trap doors. They'll place folded up, that's because of the levers, that's fine. The next bit is easiest if you fold those trapdoors down. Now place a waste block at either end of your undercarriage. And we're going to place one, two, three, four spruce trapdoors. On top of those, one, two dark oak trapdoors, and then one, two, three. And get rid of our waste box. 
On the first dark oak block of the undercarriage, we're going to place a birch door with the hinge on the non-platform side. On top of that, we're going to place a waste block. And in front of that, at the top, we're going to place a birch trap door. And directly on top of that, a dark oak trap door. Get rid of the waste block. And now fold all the trap doors up or down to form walls and a fan light. That's our back wall. Do that at the other end. Side walls next. I'm going to start on the platform side. And the easiest way to do this is to run waste blocks right the way along the edge. And now starting at the front, I'm going to place one, two, three, four spruce trap doors, leave a one block gap, place one, two, three, four, five, six, leave a one block gap and go all the way down to the end, but don't place one at the very end. You can get rid of the waste blocks now. Now with dark oak trapdoors, on top of the spruce we're going to place one, two, leave a one block gap and place two more sets of two. We're going to place two here on the other side of the gap and then two on both sides of the next gap and two more next to the gap at the end. And we're going to fill all the spaces with birch trapdoors. Fold them all up to make walls and windows. Now for the doors. Take a birch door and place it in the first gap so that the hinges are towards the back of the carriage. Come to the next gap and place it so that the hinges are towards the front of the carriage. And do the same with the one at the very back. Hinges towards the front of the carriage. On top of each of those doors place a waste block. And in front of each block at the top, place a trap door and fold it down to form a fan light and get rid of the waste block. That's the platform side of the train. Let's go round and do the non-platform side. So we start the same way, waste blocks all the way along. Now starting at the front of the train, one, two, three, four spruce trap doors, leave a gap, place six. Leave a gap and place nine. And that should leave us with a one block gap right at the end. Get rid of all your waste blocks. Back at the front end of the train, same as the other side, two dark oak trap doors, leave a gap and place two more lots of two. Two dark oak trap doors on the other side of the gap, two either side of the next gap, and two at the end. Fill in all the gaps with birch trap doors. Now for the doors. Place a birch door in the first gap so that the hinge is towards the back end of the carriage. In the next gap, place it so that the hinge is also towards the back end of the carriage. And in the last one, place it again so that the hinge is towards the back end of the carriage. And now place fan lights on top of all the doors just as you did on the other side and fold all the trap doors up to make walls and windows again. And that is the non-platform side of the train. Now for the roof. Come to the inside, come to either end, doesn't matter which one. On one of these three dark oak trap doors, a bottom half smooth sandstone slab, two more next to it and fill in the rest all the way to the end. Now you can use smooth sandstone block, slabs go twice as far. Now take smooth sandstone stairs and put them all the way along next to the slabs to fill this gap. Do the same on the other side. Place a waste block on top of any of the stairs and put a smooth sandstone slab next to it and now fill in the rest of the roof. Using the slabs like this has two effects. It gives the gentle curve of the roof and also sport proofs it. There we are, carriage with roof. Let's get to work on the inside. Now we'll do all the furniture first and then we'll build up walls around them. So facing towards the front of the train and with smooth quartz stairs in this corner we're going to place an upside down smooth quartz stair and one in the other corner. Put a stone pressure plate on top. We're making the loose. 
Now, facing one of the toilets, we've got toilet, one block gap, and a hopper going into the floor. Do the same on the other side. Now, standing between the toilet and the wash basin, we're going to place one, two dark oak trap doors and two more on top of those. And fold them up to form walls. And between the two at the top, we're going to place one more and fold it down. Now coming out of the loo and in this gap we're going to place a dark oak door with the hinge towards the front of the carriage. Now we're going to repeat this on the other toilet. Now outside the loo's but facing towards them, two dark oak trap doors, two more on top of each of them, fold them up, And now coming inside the toilet, we're going to shift, click a tripwire hook above the sink for a tap. Now for the seating. Still facing towards the front of the train, we're going to come to the space after the doors and one, two dark prismarine stairs. Two more facing and another set just like that. Leave a gap for the door and we're going to do sets of dark prismarine seats all the way down. It should look like this. Now we're going to repeat all this on this side. Now in between each set of seats we're going to put two end rods and on top of each end rod goes a piece of brown carpet. Almost done. Now we've just got to divide the carriage up. So again, facing towards the front, we come to our first set of seats and we're going to put two sets of two birch trap doors on top of it. We're going to come down to where the door is and on top of the seats, we're going to put two more sets of two birch trap doors. Come to the other side of the door and repeat that. Now come down to the other door and do the same. And now we're going to go one, two, and on top of this set of seats, two more sets of two birch trap doors. So we end up with the carriage divided like this. So just copy that on this side. There we go, that's the carriage divided. Now to finish up, we go back into the toilets and above the sink, place a lantern. And there we have it. One open first class vestibule carriage.